thing. Most people go shopping for things like clothes and bags and shoes and more clothes. So this is what happens when a techie decides to pretty much buy all the things that they need all in one day. Well, actually all of it is under six hours. Anyway, so I have a light switch and then a power cord and a power splitter and some male, female, DC jacks, a power supply. So all our surveillance cameras would run off one big power supply instead of three separate power supplies. This thing will make you cool. But the biggest haul of them all is contained in this palenque box. Get this, this, and then wrap it around. Screw those little things. This is the big haul. Like, this is the big haul. And I'm actually gonna make a video of this. Oh yeah! So for those who are fans of this channel, or you have seen my banner in my channel's homepage, my channel is all about the cheap and old stuff, and a lot of ghetto. Well, guess what? It's actually not that expensive. 3,400 divided by current exchange rate to USR. Because it is priced by the devil, that's why. It's under $70. It's actually classified as a budget router. Yes, you can get something that is much, much cheaper for less than half the price from a lesser known brand that has doesn't have AC wireless or dual band, like a super stripped down router. Basically, you can get something like, like this. Like this thing that has been running the internet of the house for how many years? Oh, half a decade and it's actually just given to us so because our internet service provider only provided us with this though so this is actually a very reliable unit this is a mo DSL modem for uh, no it's not even gigabit it's a it's just 100 megabit or something um, it's wireless and so the first thing I have to update is my home's internal networking right now my home's internal network is basically running off this piece of crap, <laughs> essentially. It only has 2.4 gigahertz, and for ethernet, it only has 10100. And of course, you saw like earlier, I got myself a fancy gigabit wireless AC router that has both 2.4 gigahertz wireless N, as well as five gigahertz wireless AC. It can pretty much run as my home network's full backbone since it has gigabit ethernet which brings us to storage right now it's quite a mess there's 750 gigabytes in my laptop i also have a one terabyte drive that is only dedicated for backup purposes and then i also have an extra 500 gigabyte hard drive i have my ssd where i edit off I want to consolidate basically the job of all of these into one nice storage. The next thing I am going to save up and buy is a Western Digital NAS that is around 2 to 3 terabytes. I think the 3 terabyte one is better value overall. And then connected to it is another drive that is also same capacity drive basically to back up this one drive next one is actually actually something very basic it's basically just going to be sitting there it's going to be quite unexciting until let's say the power goes out you could have guessed it by now so this is basically to back up power the network the storage and then our surveillance system and basically this UPS will make sure that even during a power outage, surveillance system is not gonna go down. Basically a backbone of my network and everything else, including networking stuff. Next thing I want to upgrade is my display. A $35 used Dell monitor, 1280 by 1024, which is actually not too unfortunate. It's actually a pretty good resolution compared to the screen that comes with my laptop, except yeah, 
that's not exactly a good panel to use, especially if you're gonna be doing video editing, photo editing, color work, or pretty much everything else. It's a good TN panel, but it's nowhere near IPS. I wanna replace this with something, of course, a beautiful thin bezel, or at least beautiful bezel, 1080p display that is also, you wanna have these in your displays. If you're gonna buy a display, you wanna buy this. Actually, no, it's not even maybe. Get myself some nice peripherals. Because right now I'm just relying on my laptop's keyboard and then a 200 peso mouse. That's like four or $5 mouse. Yeah, that is when I upgrade my system to a fancy new desktop computer. Right now, all these videos you're watching right now is basically running off my laptop. It's a nice laptop, but it's definitely showing its age at five years. It's an Asus K45 VM, and it's not that thick. It's actually a very nice laptop. Well, until like, you're gonna see a video later where I did a disassembly and then realize how fragile it is. But anyway, this laptop served me well nonetheless. I gave it upgrades like a 240 gig SSD. It still has its original 750 gig hard drive as mass storage. And then it currently runs Windows 10 because I was able to get the free upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And Windows 10 is actually serving me well. You're just gonna have to wrestle with it. So basically right now, this thing has an Intel Core i5 that is third gen. When I bought this laptop, this was the latest processor you can get. Now it's starting to age. It only has two cores, but it's hyper-threaded, and it has eight gigs of RAM, and then it also has a 240 gigabyte SSD. This has Windows, it has my programs, and it has all the, and it also has all the video clips. Like, I would actually take video from whatever storage device I have, and then basically transfer it to the SSD. So, because once you start using an SSD for things like video editing, running your program, it's a night and day difference. Once you go SSD, you can never go back. And then of course it has a 750 gigabyte hard drive that it came with, and it's good enough for mass storage, really. Running an operating system, well, night and day difference. Going SSD, it's night and day difference. Other things about my laptop, got a 1366, 768 panel. TN that is, oh, also for graphics, it has a GT 630M two gigabyte, but it is actually good enough, actually works very well for GPU acceleration for video editing. But then again, it is being bottlenecked by this dual core i5 that only has, again, two cores. So you may say, huh, let me just get a replacement processor. You know what? Screw the new processor. I mean, I have designed PC cases. I pretty much watch the desktop PC scene for a very long time. The very reason I bought, I went laptop, because I needed to take it place to place. I need to bring it to house. I needed to bring it to school. I was only, I needed something that does everything I need to do and take it with me everywhere else. And I did have enough budget to, let's say, get a desktop and then get a laptop. I didn't have that. Get a very good laptop and then get, make sure it has a good amount of upgradability. So the last upgrade I plan to do, instead of upgrading my current laptop, is actually take the chassis of Honeycomb PC and then, and then replace that crappy Sempron with a lot better components. Decent use parts, maybe a second, third, or fourth gen i7, um, 16 gigs of RAM. We're gonna be packing this thing with a good amount of RAM. Maybe save money and then just do 12 gigs. And then we're gonna plop in a big fat SSD in here, a 500 gigabyte SSD, 500 watt quality power supply, like 80 plus bronze. We're just gonna be packing this computer with a bunch of white LEDs. So that's it, W, white. 